to eliminate this kind of violence humiliation torture discrimination across the india in central universities a parliamentary committee should be a parliamentary committee should be appointed to roam across the indian central universities and to make out the problem what is the problem and what kind of legislature what kind of the legislature legislature can be brought out so i demand on behalf of bahujan intellectual community uh, collective to constitute a parliamentary committee my dear friends i want to make one point and i i will conclude this your struggle is a great struggle i extend my support you are fighting which which is which supposed to be taken up by the social organizations political organizations out of the campus but out of the campus sc st bc minority organizations are very weak socially politically and organizationally very weak because of intellectual lack i request all the iflu intellectuals scholars and students to come out from the university and to propagate the issue to the larger society which is outside the university to make the people to make the aware the people about the situation and the problems facing by the sc st bc minority and women students particularly in the campuses and bahujan intellectual collectives will be along with you and it will work with you thank you one and all thank you sir for your inspiring words now i call upon uh, comrade vimalaka from the telangana united front and comrade sam sandhya president of progressive organization for women to the dais and also there is an announcement the mess timings will be extended today so i request all the student to please stay back and now i invite dr gilani sir from the delhi university to speak good evening friends i'm extremely grateful to the organizers to provide me this opportunity to be part of this gathering here and i am feeling proud to be here feeling proud to be among those who are struggling for a cause who are struggling for a cause where none of them has to take any individual benefit but they are fighting a cause they are fighting for the betterment of society at large my salute to you friends i cannot in enlighten you on the facts around mudassir's death professor hargopal has talked about the university system the responsibilities of teaching community responsibilities of the administration at large of the university about the autonomy of the university we are fighting for freedom but it pains me when i see that people are willing to give up the autonomy which these institutions have professor hargopal has talked about professor bakshi 
when he was told to close the university by the central government and he said it is none of your business i am running the university not you i have full autonomy and i will continue i'll keep my university open today we don't have such vice chancellors they are acting as agents of the powers in the higher corridors of power and they are working on their instructions teacher student relationship is not as professor hargopal has explained it is not you know in in some hierarchy we are a family we are a family and we are members of a family of a junior member one senior member and that doesn't make a difference that doesn't make difference we are all equal members of this this, this family but today and then you have traditions you talk about indian traditions indian culture you have a guru shishya traditions which is not hierarchical again it is love compassion towards students but what has what is the outcome of this what does this this uh, incident which has taken place here what does this depict is that love and compassion relationship it pains us and i feel really ashamed because i also belong to that community i am member of that family myself we have talked about you know there is other aspect of this incident <laughs> professor hargopal had said that he has committed suicide but you know in kashmir if you have read the newspapers in kashmir they don't say that he has committed suicide but they consider this to be a murder there was i have heard that the vice chancellor is telling the students here students who are protesting who are demanding justice for a person who has no more there vice chancellor is telling them that your activities are fueling the unrest in kashmir i tell the administration here it is not these students activities these activities of students their protest is actually pacifying it is giving solace to the people of kashmir that there are some people Whatever. there are people who care for them but your activity you are not holding inquiry into this incident is actually fueling the unrest in kashmir because you are giving way to the speculations that he was murdered he has not committed the suicide you know an autopsy was held there in kashmir also where a block medical officer has said that there are visible torture marks on his body how do you explain those if you don't hold an inquiry how do you explain that do you want people of kashmir to understand that yes he was murdered people think that a person a kashmiri an innocent kashmiri was hanged murdered by the government of india in in, in delhi afzal guru and when people of kashmir expressed their anger they came out in every city even in hyderabad they think that mudassir has become victim of that they think that mudassir became victim because he was there protesting against this hanging of afzal guru if you don't hold inquiry you are actually fueling that those speculations you are fueling the unrest not these people who are actually solace for the for, 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 for the people of kashmir it's unfortunate the very basic demand